Safety matters and Halloween is quickly approaching. It's especially important to keep your children safe from sex offenders. They are prohibited from soliciting Halloween or trick-or-treaters to their homes. NBC 6's Shirley Busico shares what parents need to know. Okay, we love Halloween. We plan on trick-or-treating. While kids are looking forward to all of the festivities, it is important to keep them safe, especially in areas parents are unfamiliar with. You can actually research addresses. So if you're going to trick or treat in a certain neighborhood, probably not your neighborhood, you can put that information in and then research any possible sex offenders that live in that neighborhood. Sergeant Mike King with the Caddo Sheriff's Office recommends parents to travel in groups. They stay with us, we, they knock on their door, we're standing behind them or one of our friends that's also an adult. Um, and they don't eat candy until we get home and we're able to look at it for and, lots of reasons. And a lot of times there's a big pile of candy on the floor. Meanwhile, there are parents who are choosing different areas to take their children trick-or-treating. The house to house has kind of played out a little bit unless you feel very safe in the community that you're going house to house to. But normally, we stay closely to uh, church activities. But King says it is really all about keeping a close eye on children, no matter where they go to trick or treat. Think about things such as reflective tape or lights or like neon necklaces or braces to help them be visible for the traffic and just pay attention to your surroundings. Are you looking forward to Halloween? Yes, I'm so excited. Our baby sister might be born on Halloween. <laughs> She could be, you never know. <laughs> Shirley Busico, NBC6 News.